Hello and thanks for tuning in to Town Meeting TV's coverage of general election 2024. My name is Megan Rourke and I'm here um, with some folks in the parking lot at Williston. This is part of our candidate forums and series. You can watch it all at cctv.org backslash general and we're very grateful for our underwriters who help support election programming. Today I am joined by Bruce and Eric of the town of Williston and just introduce yourselves and what do you do with the community? Uh, Bruce Hoare, I'm the director of public works for the town of Williston. Great. And, uh, Eric Wells, town manager here in Williston. Great, and we're here in the parking lot because we're talking about the parking lot. Bruce, tell us what is this project and it's going to be on the November ballot, is that correct? That's correct. The project is to expand the parking lot but to make the improvements that need to be made to the drainage and even the lighting, if you look around, you can see there's not much lighting out here. We've got some real drainage issues. But the whole of the project is to expand it uh, from 47 parking spaces to about 67, 20 to 30 additional spots when it's all said and done. Great, and this was on the town meeting ballot in March. Slightly different, but tell us what's different from what was on the town meeting ballot and what we'll see in November. And also maybe just let folks know if this is going to be part of their mailed home ballot or if they have to come to the polls to vote on this item. Sure. Well, the main um, components of the project haven't changed from what the voters considered in March. Um, the big item here is we looked at how we were able to fund the project. Um, in March, it was about an $860,000 project or so. And we were asking for a bonding authority up to $700,000. Since town meeting day, we've um, been able to secure a grant from the state of Vermont, um, about two, a $200,000 grant. The town is also using local ARPA funds towards this project. So overall, the project budget's about $790,000 now, and we're looking to ha have voters authority to borrow through a bond of $400,000, up to $400,000 to round out the project funding. We, we were able to trim about $60,000 from the overall cost. We uh, worked with our engineering team to look at the lighting. We're able to increase the pole height a little bit, and the trade-off is to not have quite as many poles that we need, and that's a big uh, cost savings there to get to the 60,000. Great. Bruce, tell us a little bit about how this project, what's the history behind this project, how long have you needed parking lot renovations, and do we need more parking spaces? So the answer is uh, the project's been around for 10 to 12 years. We actually had UVM students do a, uh, now I'm just drawing a blank on their senior their senior project. Capstone. Yeah, capstone project, thank you. Uh, and included the parking lot as one of those uh, projects. And they're the ones that came out with the basic design and, and what we could get additional without doing too much disturbance uh, to the, there's a wetlands behind us. Um, so it's been around a long time, but uh, the lighting is a real issue at night. There's very few, very little lights out here for people coming out of meetings and stuff. And you can see in the middle of the parking lot behind us, there's a fairly significant hump that runs right down through the middle. That's not a parking barrier, that's, that's drainage that uh, needs to be redone. So that, that's going to take tearing up the parking lot itself just to do that. So that's where it all came from. Great, and it, you are tearing up the parking lot, and it says here that you're going to have some electrical conduit run for possible future EV needs. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so this, the main need for the conduit right now is the lighting. Um, as, as Bruce said, it's it's a real safety issue for folks, um, town staff, members of the community come and do a meeting um, in the nighttime, and we'll put daylight savings time here next month will be really apparent about 4.30. You really can't see well out here at all. So it's overall a safety issue for the lighting. But by putting conduit in the ground, it gives the ability for the town in the future, not part of this project, but to consider adding additional um, EV charging stations for the public and eventually the town fleet. Um, this project will stretch behind me all the way to the hedge behind the police station. Part of that will be contemplating a, a reconfiguration of the police cruisers as well if we move to electric vehicles at some point in the future. Um, we're just positioning ourselves now when we dig up the ground to not have to do that again. Right. And was there any consideration to other parts of this project that you had to scale back as well or is it similar to the project that you saw in uh, in March? Yeah overall it's the same project as March. The, the change in the expense for the lighting is the major factor. Right. Great. And 
Um, what's the impact going to be on voters if they say yes, if they say no? What's what's the impact going to be on them? Sure. Yeah, so if um, voters support this project for the bond, it would round out our funding structure. We'd then look to go to the bond sale and look to put this project out to bid probably over the winter time, and we'd be able to do this project in 2025. If the voters don't support this, um, we wouldn't be able to ask for a, a bond again for over a year. We do have the grant from the state of Vermont of $200,000. Um, I think we have about two and a half years left to use that grant. Um, we'd have to reevaluate probably the scope of the project at that point. Great, and is there an impact on taxes? Yep, there will be um, an impact with the added debt service. Um, from the number off the top of my head, but for next year's budget, we mainly pay the interest in the first year um, and then the principal payment after that. But it would probably be a 15 to 20 year bond, so not, a, not an overall significant increase in the grand scheme of the budget. Great. And Bruce, why do you want folks, I'm assuming you want folks to support this, why do you want them to support this right now? Well, uh, things don't get any cheaper. So the projects needed to be done for quite a while, uh, just from the safety standpoint. And uh, <clears throat> the biggest, some of the biggest complaints I get is, is the parking. Although people say, well, look, there's always plenty of parking spots. That's not true. Our neighbor is the National Guard. And when they drill and or have different activities going on, this whole place can be filled to the brim without any extra parking for, you know, town coming to have a meeting at night. So uh, it, it needs to be done. Uh, the safety is probably the biggest thing right now with the drainage, the, the large hump ends up getting icy in the winter time. It's very hard to keep the ice out of here. Okay. Um, is there any other parts of this that you want to point out to folks since we're standing here in the parking lot? Sure. Um, just on Bruce's last point first and thinking about the use of this, this is our village center. We're um, continuing to look at our village plan and creating added vibrancy in our village, our, the schools across the street, the libraries nearby, the um, village community park. Um, we, we have these events that take place that need additional parking and we also have a, a growing staff here as well. So it would certainly be used, I believe that's a factor that well, through our grant award from the state and they want to support through this uh, downtown transportation fund of uh, vibrant village centers and the help with transportation infrastructure. Um, it, as far as other th things to be aware of here, the additional parking would, would be to uh, our, our left to cameras right right now in that green strip there. We rearrange the, uh, the parking arrangement here um, as well to, to fit the additional vehicles. Um, and, and overall, we would see a, just a great improvement in this facility. Great. Thanks. I think that's all the questions. Kevin, you have any questions? Kevin's behind the camera helping us out. Well, that's great. Thanks for um, letting voters know what's going on. And this is thanks for tuning in to Town Meeting TV's ongoing coverage of election season 2024. To see this and other programs, cctv.org backslash general. And thanks to Eric Wells and Bruce Wall for um, giving us the skinny on what's going on with the ballot item in Williston. Oh, I did want to say, um, you will be able to vote, sorry. Is this going to be uh, a side ballot or is this going to be on the general ballot? Yeah, well, thanks for circling back to that. So this will be on the ballot that everyone is receiving in the mail from the state of Vermont. Um, those are being mailed out. It's early October right now. They should be arriving um, any day now if you haven't received it already. Um, the thing, the important thing is when you get your ballot, flip it over on the back. There are local questions there. This question, especially in justices of the peace. So you'll get your ballot at home. You can return it um, before election day, Tuesday, November 5th. Um, if you return it on election day, just go to the armory and drop it off there. Um, we have the drop box here in the parking lot, bring it by the town clerk's office. Um, just make sure you, you get it in before, the, before 7 p.m. on Tuesday, November 5th. Great, thank you both so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.